There's so many lessons that we can learn about marriage from a box of chocolates. First of all, there is the choice. Which box do you choose? And what draws you to it? Is it the packaging or is it what's inside? Falling in love is a bit like choosing a box of chocolates. For anyone who knows Danielle, they will know that she's kind, caring, considerate. She doesn't say what can people do for her, she says what can she do for people. This is one of the proudest and happiest moments of my life. Watching Danielle today, this amazing young lady. You look amazing and I'm so proud to be your dad. As a parent, you always want the best for your daughter. But to meet someone that, that she loves as much as me and her mum do, someone who will always make her feel special, and I'm sure Emery does. We could see how we treat Danielle. We treat her right, and we made her happy. And me and Joe was happy. Marriage is like the chocolate we don't like, but our partner does. It's about recognising our differences, but living comfortably alongside them and supporting each other. Marriage is the box that holds all of the chocolates together. It is a box of compromise. Individually, we might not like the whole box, but as a couple, it works together. Your wedding day is finally here. And we are at that hallowed time when you are to be taken across the threshold of life. Here and now is all that matters. It's a time we spend together in this sacred place. It's a time which is precious because Henry and Danielle are now gonna make that lifetime commitment to each other in the presence of all of you and in the presence of God. I, Henry, take you, Danielle, to be my wife. Henry, I give you this ring, the sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Henry and Danielle have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife.
Now I must say, to have known Henry for so long, today is an absolute honour for me. All these years, I've finally managed to get him to buy me a drink and a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please all raise a toast, as I'm sure this is the first and last time Henry will ever buy you a drink. Yeah. <laughs> It's all I'm waiting for Oh, would you hit me up? I've been waiting my whole life Oh, for you to hit me up I've never felt this way I want to turn back time Save me some heartbreak While we're living with us, we've noticed sometimes you struggle to keep things in. <laughs> so I bought you a little gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes while you was living with us, you felt a bit sure. <laughs> <laughs> 